South Korea and Argentina celebrate 60 years of diplomatic ties. To mark the occasion, a special exhibition displaying the works of an Argentinian artist kicked off in Seoul. Song Yujin provides a sneak peek. Exciting news for fans of contemporary art. There'll be a special exhibition on Nodal Island, located in the capital Seoul, introducing the work of the world-renowned contemporary artist Leandro Ehrlich from Argentina. But there's something unique about this exhibition in particular. We've been planning immersive exhibitions where people not merely stand in front of the work to look at it, but throw themselves into the work and become a part of it. And Ehrlich's work is just that. A total of 18 pieces are on display. They include three big-scale installations, video art and photos that documented the artist's previous work. But the highlight of the exhibition is Ehrlich's most famous work, the Batima. It's a unique structure that provides visitors a chance to defy gravity without leaving the ground. Batimong means building in French. The artwork itself consists of a facade that resembles a four-story building and a huge mirror, which gives people a view as if they're hanging from or crawling on the building. It's been loved the world over after being created in 2004 and exhibited in over 20 countries. But it's actually the project's first time in Korea, and there's something even more special about it. Actually, this piece in Korea is the original one. It's the one that was created for the first time in Paris. In this case, I felt that it was uh, it would be a better experience to to bring something from its original form rather to create to make an adaptation to to the local context and visitors are loving the experience. As my kids are on summer vacation, I wanted to find a fun exhibition where they could not only look at the work, but also take part in it. I felt like Spider-Man when I saw myself crawling on the building through the mirror. I saw this exhibition on social media saying that it makes you feel like you are traveling abroad and it really feels like it. The exhibition runs until December 28th. Those who wish to take a look around can buy tickets online. Song Yujin, Arirang News.